Hi, welcome to a moment of mindfulness. I'm gonna start a new routine where I ring this chime and just listen for the sound of the bell going away. This will be our signal that it's time to start turning our attention inwards and stretching, moving, breathing, centering ourselves with some mindfulness. So listen to the sound of this chime and see how long you can hear it for. Take a deep breath in, stretch your arms up. Exhale, lean to one side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lean to the other side. Move with your breath, inhaling up, exhaling to stretch. Now we're gonna move into the twist. Next time you exhale, turn and look over one shoulder. Inhale to center. Exhale and twist. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, turning. And when you come back to center, you can exhale and relax, and we're going to come into cat and cow. So you can stay seated, scooch to the edge of your chair, or you could come on to hands and knees. Inhale, look up, arch back. Exhale, round the middle of the back. Drop your chin. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round and look down. Now that our spine is all warmed up, we're going to come into the frog pose. This is a wide-legged squat where your feet are pointing out to the sides a little bit and your heels might be up off the ground. We're going to flex our memories and see if we can remember the lizard pose from yesterday too. Step one foot back and walk your hands in line with your front foot. Turn your toes to point forward. Step that back foot forward, come back to your frog toes, go back out to the sides. And then step your other foot back. Walk your hands in line with your front foot, point those toes forward. So we're gonna inhale, step to frog, toes out. Exhale, step back to lizard with the opposite foot. Kind of like we're walking like a lizard. Inhale, step forward. Exhale, switch and step back. Come back to your frog pose and connect your elbows to your knees. We're gonna be working our way up to an arm balance pose uh, called crow. Something that helps us balance only on our hands is increasing the core strength. So we're gonna come back to the frog in a little bit and take a moment in boat pose. For this boat pose, I'm gonna use a towel around my feet. You can also use the wall, the floor, a chair. We've done boat pose in a lot of different ways. In every way, your spine is super long and straight. Take some deep breaths here. Maybe if I feel strong, I can let go of the towel. Or even straighten my legs. Ooh, maybe not. The next time you're exhaling, bring your feet down to the ground. And this is where we're gonna come back to the frog pose. Touch your elbows to your knees. Remember how we would do in the frog pose with our hands touching maybe? We're gonna see if we can use our core muscles 
to keep the elbows and knees glued together. And we're gonna be rocking back as we inhale and rocking forward as we exhale. Keep your elbows and knees touching. Here we go. Inhale, rock back. Exhale, rock forward. Inhale back, exhale forward. From the side, it looks like this. Elbows and knees stay touching the whole time. And then the next time you're rocking forward, see if you can rock all the way into the frog squat. Ooh, almost had it. If you're using a towel like me, take a little hop back. If you don't have a towel or anything, you might wanna have a pillow in front of you because we're gonna be balancing on our hands and sometimes people fall forward. You might bump your head or your chin. So put something soft in front of you or back up on your towel so you have a little extra space in front of you. You're gonna bring both your hands down to the ground, line up your fingertips and point your middle fingers straight ahead. Keep your elbows and knees glued together on both sides and then lift your bottom and tippy toe your toes together. Press into your hands a whole lot and see if you can look forward and maybe pick up one foot. Maybe you can pick up both feet. So from the side, it looks like this. One frog squat, two hands on the ground, three knees on the elbows, four bottom up, toes together. Look forward, lift one foot up and then the other. See how long you can hold the balance or maybe you're just rocking in and out of the balance. Make sure you're breathing. Use your core muscles to support you here. And whenever you're done, come to a child's pose, supporting your head if you need to. Make your way up to a comfortable seat and we'll finish our mindful moment. Sitting up nice and tall, bring your hands over the center of your chest. Notice how you're feeling. Notice if you can feel your heart beating. And whatever you're thinking about, see if you can notice it as you breathe in and then blow it away just for now as you breathe out. And then paying attention to what's in your heart today. You can let your eyes close or let your eyes rest on one spot that's not moving. Whatever you see in your heart, Breathe it into your whole body. And when you breathe out, send love out into the world. Inhaling love and exhaling love. Thank you so much for joining for this mindful moment. I'll see you at the next one.